The Chandrayaan-3 launch will take place in the month of July, a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan-2, which will demonstrate end-to-end -end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. Let's listen in once again to what the ISRO chief has stated. Chandrayaan-3 will be launched in July. I'm very confident. Well, uh, Dr. Ajay Lele is with us here on the broadcast, sir. Good afternoon to you. Chandrayaan-3 that has been announced, sir. And of course, as we heard from the ISRO chief saying that in rocket science, there are always unknown unknowns. So there are several of them. But however, we are hoping for a successful mission this year, sir. No, definitely. You see, if you see the entire program of ISRO as far as moon mission is concerned, it has been more or less a very successful program because we started in the year 2008 when we undertook the first mission to the moon. Uh, subsequently, uh, India was supposed to collaborate with Russia for the second mission to the moon because first mission to the moon was supposed to be placing a satellite into the orbit of the moon and taking the pictures. That was a successful mission done by ISRO. Uh, the second mission was that the what we call a satellite which will go into the vicinity of a moon and there will be a rover and lander uh, put on the surface of the moon. That was supposed to be the Russia's job. Uh, but since Russia was not able to do that, ISRO scientists took it on to them and they developed this rover and a lander system. But unfortunately, instead of a soft landing, just few meters before uh, getting launched or getting established itself onto the moon surface, uh, it did a hard landing. Uh, so now ISRO is going to attempt the same thing again uh, in the month of July as uh, Chairman Isro has just now mentioned. And I'm sure that they must have learned all sorts of mistakes which had happened in the earlier phase and they will be taking extra precautions to overcome not only the mistakes which had happened in the earlier phase, but just to ensure that no other sort of a mistakes also do happen. Mm. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that they should be able to uh, have a good success uh, in the month of July. Okay, all right. Uh, Dr. Lele, now, you know, if we talk about Chandrayaan 2, two and a half months after the event, Isro had informed everyone that the moon-bound Vikram lander did actually land, but it was a hard landing instead of the soft one that they were hoping for. So these kind of uh, technical issues, it's very well possible that, you know, they may crop up even now. And that's what the Isro chief was saying. You see, rocket science is an unforgiving science. Uh, it is not only in case of India, all over the world you can see no agency which is involved into the business of a space has ever had 100% success. Because there are so many things which may go unnoticed. There are so many challenges which are there out into the space. Because we just don't know what sort of atmospheric pressures are happening, what sort of other activities which are happening out into the space. Because after you launch a mission, the mission is in an autonomous mode and it takes corrects as per the environmental situations at that point in time. If you see India's mass program, I'm slightly digressing over here. India is the first country to enter into the Martian orbit in the first go successfully. Uh, so those types of challenges are there all over the world. And if you are there in the business of a space, you need to be aware that there could be pitfalls also. Uh, but uh, until and unless you don't go through that, because the scientific community always says that what teaches them more is a failure than the success. So definitely since we had a failure, it must have taught uh, the scientific community quite a few things about how to undertake the mission, particularly of putting a rover lander on the moon surface. Mm. And they will be able to overcome it in uh, coming few months. And by July, they should be able to launch the mission.